Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Blair. Welcome to my beauty space. So for today's video, I want to do a lip swatch on my Pat McGrath lipstick collection. I want to do this one because the Sephora Spring Sale is literally around the corner. So if you're thinking about buying something, I think Pat McGrath is a brand that worth checking into because I really love the quality of her products. And yes, I know they are really pricey. That's why I think you should take advantage of the sale, you know, because you do save 20% off. Plus, I think currently Pat McGrath's website has a sale going on as well. And I think you get 25% if you buy $150 of merchandise. So I think that's a really good deal to, you know, snatch it up something that you always wanted, but you don't want to pay full price for. So yeah, that's why I want to make this lip swatch video to show you guys what are the lipsticks I got from Pat McGrath as well as how they look both on the back of my head as well as on my lips. So yeah, if you're interested in today's video, just please keep watching. All right, before we start, I do have a new giveaway to announce. I just really feel like recently with the situation going on, I want to cheer you guys up. So my way of cheering you guys up is to continue and give you guys giveaway gifts. And I do it in like, you know, a consistent base because I want all my subscribers to have a chance to win. So please just subscribe and don't just subscribe for this giveaway because I will consistently have a giveaway going forward. So I really would love you guys to stay, hang out with me. You know, you might subscribe to my channel because of the giveaway, but I would love you to stay for my content. So with that being said, the giveaway price for today's giveaway is this goodie bag. And in this bag, you will get a full size facial mist. I actually got this one from my Boxy Charm, but I really have a lot of facial mist, so I want to give it to one of you guys. Then I also have a Deluxe um, Tarte eyeliner. I really love this eyeliner, but I already have so many eyeliners, so I want to give this to one of you guys. Then I also have a sample from Clarence. So yeah, this is a giveaway price. So in order to win this goodie bag, you need to A, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification. And B, you need to leave me a comment down below in regards to your Sephora like wish list. And if you're a notification squad, I would love you to end the comment with notification squad. And C, I want you to go to one of my other video and leave a comment there saying that, you know, I'm here for the skincare giveaway. But I want you to not just say that, but also say something in regards to that video. I just really want you guys to interact with me because literally right now, like, I don't really have any human to human interaction. So the internet is really my way of connecting with fellow beauty lovers. So yeah, that's it. And this giveaway will be US only and it will open for 10 days. So good luck to everybody. And now let's get into the lip swatches. All right, so the first color I want to swatch for you guys is actually already on my lips. So this is the color of the lipstick and the lipstick is called La Beige. So here is the lipstick looks like. I love Pat McGrath's lipstick packaging. It's so just high quality. It's just so chic. Then here is the color. So this is a color right here. And this is a Luxe Trans lipstick. So it's not a matte lipstick. It's kind of like a satin formula from MAC. So here, let me swatch it. This is a color right here. I love this color. This color is my go-to nude because it's just that perfect nude kind of a little bit of a brown but nude color. I just really love it. I feel like if you wear a darker lip liner with this color, it will be so beautiful. But even if you just wear it on its own, it's still really beautiful. And the formula is super creamy, it's non-drying, it's very easy to apply, it goes on smoothly, it's just, everything is just really good. So I really, really love this color called Le Beige. Alright, moving on, the next color is also from the Luxe Trends formula 
and it is called Realness. So here is a color right here. This is another lipstick. As you can see, I have used quite a lot. So let me swatch it on the back of my hand. This is Realness. So this is definitely more of a mauve color, which I really love as well. So let me swatch on my lips. Alright, so this is a color realness look like on my lips. I really love this color. I think this color is also a very wearable color. I probably will pair this color with more of like a Maui eye. I just love like a monochromatic look. But even if you pair it with this kind of like an orange brown, I still think it's really pretty. So yeah, this is the second color. Alright, moving on. The third lipstick I got is called Omi. This one is a matte formula, so here is what Omi looks like. As you can see, this is definitely matte compared with the Lux Trans lipstick. So let me swatch it right here. One swipe, that's Omi right here. That's why I really love Pat McGrath's lipstick formula because literally all you need is one swipe. It's super pigmented, but at the same time, it's super smooth. But you can just tell this is a really good formula because usually matte lipstick like this will not have those kind of pigmentation as well as smoothness. So I really love it. Let me swatch it on my lips. Alright, so this is the color Omi looks like on my lips. I really love this color. It's a beautiful mauve color. It's definitely darker than realness, but at the same time, it's not too dark. I still feel like if you wear a relatively more natural makeup look, for example, the look I'm wearing today, you still compare it with this color Omi. It doesn't really feel like the two are clashing. So I really love it. Plus this matte formula is so comfortable on my lips. I really have nothing to complain about. So this is Omi by Pat McGrath. All right, moving on. The next lipstick in my collection is actually a holiday limited edition. So this is called Christy and this is the packaging. Look how pretty it is. It's so pretty. This, oh my God, I love it. And here inside is Christy looks like. So Christy is also a matte formula. Let me swatch it next to Omi. So here is Christy. I love this color. This color is such a pretty spring color. You can pair this one with like a really pretty pink look. So let me put it on my lips. Alright, so here is the color Christy looks like on my lips. I really love this color and I think this color pairs with my natural look. It's very cute, gives me a very like fresh kind of a look. I just love it. I think this is definitely one of the best color, especially for the spring. So if you can still find this color Christy, I highly recommend you get it. All right, moving on. The next lipstick is also a holiday edition. It's called 1995. So here is the packaging. I love the blue packaging as well. It's so cute. And once you open it up, here is 1995. This is also a matte formula. The matte formula in Pat McGrath's lipstick are just so yummy. So let me swatch it right here. So this is 1995. So this one is definitely more of like a nudie mauve like if i just look at it from um my own eyes not like in front of the camera i would say that 1995 and christie are very similar but obviously this one definitely is more on the new side versus this is on the mauve side but if you're gonna just you know have budget for one i would say pick 1995 just because i love the color better so now let me swatch it on my lips. All 
All right, so here is a color 1995. I would say that this is a little bit lighter than Christy, but not that much of a difference. Christy is definitely pinkier than this one. This one is definitely more like a nude color, but to me, they're not that different. So it really is up to you which one you choose. For me, I probably would tell you to go with 1995, but Christy is really pretty as well though. So I love them both. That's why I have them both. So yeah, this is 1995. All right, moving on. The next lipstick is a different formula. It's called Blitz Trends. So it's kind of like a shimmery lipstick. And I am in the shade Flash. So this is the packaging of the lipstick looks like. Super pretty. And once you open it up, here is what it looks like. So it's kind of like a brownish red glitter lipstick. And let me swatch it right here. So here is the color Flash looks like. I really like this color because it's lighter than uh, in the tube. So I think it's more wearable on the daily. Plus I like a glitter look. I know that not everybody is totally on board with glittery lipstick. But for me, I actually really like it. I think it's very different. So let me swatch this color on my lips so you guys can see how they look. Alright, so this is the color Flash looks like. I love, love this color. It's just really vibrant, but at the same time, kind of subtle with the subtle glitters. I just really love it. I think this is super cute. And it's very appropriate for different occasions, like you can go to a party wearing it, you can go, I don't know, just a casual date or even a business meeting, I think you can still wear this. So I really, really love this color flesh right here. All right, moving on, the rest of the lipsticks I recently got from Pat McGrath during one of her website sales. I haven't even opened them yet, so I want to open it together with you guys on camera for the first time. So the first color I got is called Sorry Not Sorry. It's a Lux Trends formula. So this is the packaging looks like. So pretty, isn't it? And then you open it up like this. Then here, this is the lipstick. So it's the black packaging. Those are the um, regular lipsticks. So here, this is Sorry Not Sorry. It's like a beautiful rosy type of shade. So here, I love this color. I don't have a lot of colors like this in my collection. So let me swatch it for you guys. All right, so this is a color Sorry Not Sorry looks like on my lips. This is definitely the darkest color so far, but I really love this color because it's like a beautiful rosy kind of dark color. I don't really have a lot of this color in my collection. So I'm glad that I get to collect one of the Pat McGrath lipsticks in this color because the Pat McGrath lipstick is just simply the best. So I love, love this color called Sorry Not Sorry. Then moving on, the next shade I got is also a Lux Trends formula. It's called She's So Deep. So this is the packaging looks like. I love this packaging. So let me just open it up like this. And here inside, honestly, her packaging, just the effort that went into it. Kind of wish that the packaging can be used on the actual product. But here, let me show you. This is She's So Deep. So yes, this is a really, really dark shade, but it's good because I don't have those type of color in my collection, especially from a high-end brand like Pat McGrath. So let me swatch it on my lips for you guys. All right, so this is the color She's So Deep looks like. How do you guys like it? It's very cool, I like it. I think it's very different. 
Actually, you know what? I think this lip color matches with my whole makeup look really well. Surprisingly, I really, really love it. So yeah, this is a color called She's So Deep. Alright, moving out, the next shade I got is still in the Lux Trends formula and the shade is called Pink Ultraness. So here is the packaging. I love it. Let me open it up for you guys. Alright, so here is the color Pink Ultraness looks like. I love a fuchsia shade, especially a darker fuchsia shade because I don't have a lot of darker fuchsia shades so I'm happy that I get to collect a Pat McGrath fuchsia shade in my collection let me swatch it for you guys here this is the color looks like it is so pretty so let me swatch it on my lips and let you guys see it Alright, so this is a color looks like. I love this color. This pink ultraness. Honestly, I feel like it's very appropriate for a party look. Not that right now we can party, but you know what? Once the whole thing is over, when you want to go party, you want to go to a music festival, this is a color I think you should totally get and try to do a look with it because it's just so unique, beautiful, and standing out. So I love, love this color called Pink Ultraness. Alright, this is the last single Pat McGrath lipstick I have in my collection. I do have two lip sets from the Pat McGrath Holiday Collection, but I think I'm going to save the swatches of those two sets in the video where I will also be swatching the Pat McGrath eyeshadows from the Holiday Collection. The Holiday Collection, I know, um, the holiday is over a long time ago. However, they're still super popular and recently Pat McGrath brought them back on her website. So I still wanna do a swatch on those colors because I really think they are all year round colors. You don't have to only wear them during the holidays. So I will be saving the swatches of those two lip sets along with their holiday corresponding eyeshadow palette. So definitely stay tuned for that. So yeah, this is it. Those are all my single Pat McGrath lipstick swatches. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Before we leave, I do want to share with you guys what I'm wearing on my face today because I really, really love the foundation. Take a while, guys. Which foundation I'm wearing? And ta-ta! I'm wearing the Pat McGrath foundation. I really love this foundation. First impression wise, I felt like it's a little bit too runny. However, now when I apply it again, I just feel like it literally melts into my skin. I feel like this foundation is kind of similar to the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Water Fresh Foundation. Texture wise, this one is even more runnier than this foundation. However, I just think the finish is very flawless. It gives you a very like natural hydrated look so i think this foundation will be my summer go-to because i love a light hydrating look so yeah this is the foundation I'm wearing also for my outfit today don't you guys think this outfit kind of reminds you of the kim kardashian's cozy set but those are not from the skin brand because i just personally feel like the price of the skin products are kind of you know on the higher end plus they don't give free shipping unless you spend $75 so I got this fluffy top this is actually a crop top from Pretty Little Thing I got this cardigan from Express and right now Express is having a 40 to 60% off sale so yeah I just want to share with you guys about that and that's it this is today's video I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you do please don't forget to give me a thumbs up also please don't forget to enter the giveaway so yeah, that's it. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in my next video.